Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions. Thank you for our time together. It is amazing to me how you think doctrines are established and set and people have finally learned. And then all of a sudden, out of the blue, you find weird false doctrines have become prominent in the church all over again. You say, Pastor, what are you referring to? The teaching that women are never to preach the gospel. To teach the doctrine that says that women must be silent. They take one verse out of context and build a whole theology on male superiority. But I want you to notice the greatest good news that was ever told was of the resurrection of Jesus. Now, ladies, listen to me. Notice who heard the message first. Mark chapter 16, beginning with verse 1. When the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Salome, brought spices and they went down to anoint him. And what do they come into? An encounter with an angel that tells them he's not here, he's risen. And then you come over to verse 9 there in Mark 16. Now when he arose early on the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene. He appeared first to a woman. And he told this woman to go and tell the disciples, to go and tell everybody. Now, it's amazing to me that if women are inferior to men spiritually, if, if women are not to be listened to, when Jesus rose from the dead, why is it that the first people who hear the message from the angel and from Jesus himself, Jesus didn't appear to Peter first. He didn't appear to James and John first. He appeared to Mary Magdalene, to whom he'd cast out seven demons. He appeared to a woman who had been demon-possessed first. Now, in modern theology, people would say, well, you know, you can't trust that woman. She used to have demons. It's a lie of the devil. You can just imagine the weird doctrines that people would start up. But this woman was entrusted with the message. Now, ladies, straight up talk for just a minute. You need to understand God entrusted a woman. He appeared to a woman first to share the good news of the resurrection. Why, ladies, would you ever think that you're not qualified to share the gospel? Please, Anna the prophetess at the dedication of Jesus. Phoebe the deaconess, the servant of the church. I mean, we go all through the the seven daughters who were all prophetesses. Deborah, the great leader of Israel's history. You go all through the scriptures. Ladies, Jesus set you free. Don't let men put you in a back chair and tell you to be quiet. Preach the gospel.